Hello, how are you doing today? Oh no, I need a little sample of your blood for the lab. It's not painful, just a little sample of your blood. Eh. It's not painful, it's not painful. Blood. Everything okay? No, please, there's a problem. What is it? I don't know how to communicate to the patients that we need a sample of her blood for the lab. Oh, no. You see, that is why we need sign language interpreters in all health facilities. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Mm? Okay. Bring her to the lab. Okay, please, I'll do that. I hope you are well. Don't worry. We are here to help you. All of us. To do that, we need a sample of your blood. A sample, you know. Don't, don't be afraid. Your blood, small sample, okay? For our diagnosis, you see? Please, um, um, it's okay. Take it easy, take it easy. Don't be afraid. Hmm? Oh my God. How am I going to explain this to her? Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. You take her back to the ward. You'll be fine, okay? We need a sign language interpreter. Them. Who told you I'm interested? I can see it in your eyes. See? Doris, they are deaf and dumb people. It's true. Ah. I hear these people are kids though. How do you even introduce them as your friends? Hmm. You know, every physical condition has its medical cause. It has nothing to do with curses. Hello, sir. Your money. Oh, I see. You are not deaf? No, no, I'm not deaf. <laughs> that is interesting. Yes. I will need your assistance to communicate with a deaf patient. Oh, okay. Which hospital? Legon Hospital. Wow. Actually, I've just been transferred from the Alpha Clinic to the X-ray department. Really? Yes. Wonderful. That makes my work easier. Yes. I think I can help. Yes. Okay. Please. Okay.
This is where then we get this for this time. Let's just let me see how far. See what you don't want to see and hear what you don't want to hear. How many times have I not warned him not to play with my son? Oh, or come to my house. Oh, hey, Jaapia. Hey, Jaapia. Ah, what's wrong if Kofi plays with your son? Are we not from the same clan? Hey, don't you know there is a case on you and your husband? Me and my husband? Yes. Me and my husband? Hey, yes. Hey, Very good. My husband is him. Did you say case? All right. We'll see who that case is on. I want you. Hey. Hey. Deal with him! But shipping, come on. Ah, where is she? I don't know, we've looked everywhere. What? Yes. In that critical condition? Oh God. This is unbelievable. We have to find her. We have to find her at all costs. I'll handle it. Okay. Uh, my friend, thank you very much for coming. Eh? I'll call you when she turns up. Thank you. I will shout. What more tests do you need? Well, you know the people who did all the antenatal tests? How can you tell us our child is dead? We will solve our own problem. Let's go. Excuse me, sir. Is there any problem? What I say is final. We are not going to any pastor. We are going straight to the village. I am not ready to take my daughter to the shrine. No one in my family is deaf. In your family too, there is none. So how can you tell me my daughter is deaf? We must look into it. This is purely spiritual. What about going to do the test so the doctor can determine how to help her? It is my daughter who is deaf. What do they need my blood for? I have blood. I think that is what to help her. Your blood is sacred. I am not giving my blood to any doctor. I will call Papa at the village to arrange a meeting with the diviner. Thank you. The great owl whose gaze pierces through the thickest shadow and the darkest night. <laughs> there is a deity that must be appeased in your family. She has been abandoned and has come with a vengeance of deafness. <laughs> you must pay the due and purge your child. Three rams and three thousand canas. Your Highness, can we pay in cash? Ooh. <laughs> the gods can take cash. Even mobile money. Chicken, chicken, pala wizu, pala wizu. 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 Pala wiz
Hey! <laughs> Something is happening to her! Don't worry, my daughter. Hey. The spirit is leaving her. Mali! 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 He said she was going to get better when we get home. But now, her condition is worsening. Please, please help us, please. This is highly demonic. She needs deliverance. I can feel it in me that there's a bad spirit inside this child. Prophetess, can you deliver her? That is exactly what I'm going to do. Let us bow before the Lord. Jesus, we trample on every serpent and scorpion. According to the word, we rebuke every demonic power of high places, every altar that stands against ah, the authorities of Jehovah. Ah, be brought low. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Kojo, she's not getting better. What should we do now? Let's go back and see the doctor. <coughs> hmm? Okay. Let's go. Doctor, yes. thank you very much for the explanation. We got it all wrong. See? <laughs> we now have a better understanding of what genetics is and its implications on deafness. How can we find you, oh. doctor? Eh? Many people out there are not privy to this information. Yes, Especially the people of our village. Mm -hmm. Doctor, yes. there is a deaf community in our village. Oh. Is it possible for you and your team to come and explain this to the people? Oh, that's a very good idea. It's an opportunity to reach out to the community and educate them. We will. Why not? Thank you very much, yeah. doctor. Then I'll quickly arrange for the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's as normal as any other child. Just take good care of her. Okay? It's okay. No need to cry. <laughs> Request tomorrow morning. Nana wants to meet everybody at the village square. The great Asparo has spoken. Ago, people of Asempa, Nana and the council request your presence. Nana wants to meet everybody at the village square. The great Asparo has spoken. Nana and Council welcome you all to this urgent but very important meeting. Nana want to cut straight to the point. Nana, speak. People of Asempa, the issue confronting us is a very serious one which needs to be addressed. I'm not an expert myself, but our forebears have told us over the decades the mysteries surrounding um, deafness in our community. Much as we have tried, we've not been able to find answers to this problem. But today, our son, Kojo, and daughter, Agnes, are here with some medical officers from Legon wow. to educate us on the subject of deafness and its possible causes. Uh, 
Dr. Wo and Dr. James, you are most welcome to this community. Thank you very much, Nana. Please, uh, you have the floor now. Thank you very much, Nana. As part of our work as clinicians and researchers, we investigate what makes each person unique and different. Yes. We do this by examining your blood sample. Uh, how many of you here have ever given their blood for testing? Blood, blood. I can't give it. my family. Blood, blood. My family. Blood is sacred. We don't give blood. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, it will never happen like that. I can't give no. my blood. It is very important to give blood to be tested because every information that is used in building our body is packaged as genes. And this can be isolated from our cells in our blood sample. This we inherit from our parents. Please, can you bring the chart? You have to look on this chart. It will help you understand it better. Please. Our bodies are made up of billions of cells. Inside each cell is our genetic material. Chromosomes are the packaging of our genetic material. We usually have 23 pairs of chromosomes and we inherit one copy from a mother and one from a father. If we unwind the chromosomes, we can identify the genes. Genes are the basic building blocks that make proteins. Genes are like the blueprints for making a machine and proteins are the individual components of the machine. Proteins makes us who we are and help us grow and function properly. Our genetic material is made up of our DNA. The oxyribose nucleic acid is the very long chain of four chemical letters adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine that combine to make our genetic code. We all have some variations in our genetic code. Genes variations are like spelling errors, where for example there's a T instead of a C. A variation in the gene that makes it faulty or not working properly is called mutation. Faulty genes are caused commonly simply through chance. They have to occur in one individual for the first time at some stage. They are not related to anything a parent could have caused or prevented in any way. They occur because the process that replicates and divides their genes so we can pass it on to the next generation is complex and mistakes occur. For each gene, we have two copies. One copy comes from the mother and the other copy from the father. In an autosomal recessive condition, an individual needs both copies of genes to be faulty for a condition to develop. The parents of a child usually carry one faulty gene of the gene pair. They are healthy carriers. It is estimated that every individual is a healthy carrier of several faulty genes. But a recessive condition only occurs when both individuals in a couple happen to carry the same faulty genes. When healthy carriers have children, there are three possible outcomes. One, the child inherits both faulty gene copies and has the condition. Two, the child inherits only one faulty gene copy and is a healthy carrier like his or her parent. Three, the child inherits both working copies of the gene. So each time healthy carriers have children, there is a 1 in 4, 25% chance that their children could inherit both 40 gene copies and develop the condition. When an individual with a recessive condition have children, their children will usually all be healthy carriers of the condition. Their children could develop the condition if their partner happens to be a carrier of the 40 gene. But this could be a rare occurrence. Brothers and sisters of a healthy career could also be healthy careers themselves. So as you can see, features such as our height, complexion, color, including defects such as sickle cell and deafness, are all inherited from our parents. These traits are controlled by our genes. Have you noticed that every family has a feature that is passed on from generation to generation? Yes. Aha! Uh -huh. That is why our elders say the crab does not give birth to a bird. Yes. But I want to ask a question. Are you saying that deafness is not caused by curses or witches? <laughs> My elders and people of Asempa, that was what I believed until I could not find spiritual remedy for my daughter's deafness. That was why I gave in to genetic investigation. I am glad this has come up. Please, from today, no one should associate deafness to witches or curses. 
as we have explained, every defective condition is as a result of our genetic inheritance. Although there are environmental factors, people like Mr. Akoto and his family, and like my daughter, are all normal human beings. Their deafness can be explained through scientific investigation. Mm -hmm. No, please, let us put it on record that with the advancement of science and technology, every medical condition can be scientifically examined, mm -hmm. including deafness. Mm. So please, I will kindly entreat all of you to stop attributing deafness to spiritual causes. Doctor, please. Uh, some of our neighbors and the uh, entire family are deaf. Uh, does it mean that they spread it to one another? That is why uh, we want Nana to send them out from our community. No, 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 no. Please be rest assured. Deafness is not contagious. Yes. Hey, thank God! Thank you. It's okay, woman. It's okay, woman. Please sit down. It's okay. Let them finish what they are saying. Nana, all we need to do is to avail ourselves to be examined. It is possible some can be helped, but the most important thing is getting advice through genetic counseling and also having new babies screened for early detection. Mm -hmm. That's all we have to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, my people, Nana. wisdom they say is like a baobab tree and no one person can embrace it all alone. Today, we have been educated that the deaf people in our, our midst are our brothers and sisters. They are not under any curse. They are humans just like us. There is no curse on them. So we have to show them love and respect. And more importantly, we have to make ourselves available for genetic investigation.